Hello everyone, welcome to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be reviewing The Matrix. And yes, we're talking the movies, so yeah. So I'm pretty sure night a lot of you guys probably know what The Matrix is. A cool classic movie from the 1900s, almost 2000s, where it involves, yes, the time warping, all the dodging bullets and all that stuff. You guys know the drill, you guys know the memes, you know it all. Yeah, today here's a very mediocre review of The Matrix from yours truly. Alright, let's get to it. So, first question from it is, what was the main theme of The Matrix, and how are these themes expressed throughout the film's plot and characters? I think probably the main theme of The Matrix was kind of more like trying to save the world, in a sense. As we see from Neo, Trinity, and Morpheus, all three of the characters, and including the other shipmates, they all have a common goal, which is trying to protect themselves, and also make sure that AI doesn't, like, rule over the world like try to save it in a sense that's pretty much what i get from the matrix as in like the theme and it expresses through the characters because each of them is like unique in their own ways morpheus being the captain trinity being like the one person that like <clears throat> sides with both morpheus and neo and you have neo being the underdog as he is uh going through so much and literally still beating out the antagonist at the very end Alright, second question goes for choosing a character and the development. How did their decisions impact the film's outcome? I would choose Neo, but personally, I kind of want to switch a different route because, per, because why not? So we're going to be talking our main favorite antagonist, Mr. Anderson's arch enemy, uh, Agent Smith. So Agent Smith starts off as kind of like, he knows that Neo is a threat and he does everything in his power to like convince him to join the dark side which is pretty much what mr smith does he is pretty much like the one key person who like i'm gonna mess with you type of bs anyways mr smith's like development kind of like ever since neo joins morpheus and the others he pretty much gets pow he's like okay yeah we need to end this kid like right now otherwise like he's gonna be like completely ridiculous all that bs so he just goes on whatever he can to stop both morpheus and neo just completely goes berserk you guys can see that you guys if you guys have seen the movie you guys know that mr smith just goes on a complete 1v1 from the train scene from the the off the shootout you guys know the drill, so, yeah. Alright, our next question is going to be discuss the film's visual and special effects. I think the effects definitely brought a, mo a much more life compared to what I've seen from Dead Poet Society and War Games. It pretty much just amps it up to, like, 12, if I could say. From, like, the close-up bullets of... From, like, the close-up of the of the gunfight that you see from the office, the office shootout where they try to save Morpheus, or from the helicopter scene and such. Pretty much just anywhere within the Matrix. The camera is like much, the camera scene is much more at work compared to like the other two movies that we reviewed. So I feel like that definitely bumps it up a lot for me as a, as a personal favorite. What philosophical questions does the Matrix raise? How do these questions affect your view? I guess one thing is kind of like the world being like a huge like virtual reality we're all just like virtual characters and such i think that's probably one philosophical one because we're like we just have like one life as if like it it's like a one deaf character in a sense like mario or like sonic you know that you know the games you know the games have like lives and such it's pretty much like that except you pretty much have like one life so i feel like philosophical philosophical Oh my god, philosophically, it definitely would bring that aspect in. Thinking like real life to like virtual reality, such stuff, stuff like that. And how does the Matrix relate to today's society? Are there parallels between the film's themes and current events? This one's a tough one for me. I think it definitely, I, I've, in some sense, it does relate to today's society with like... It just like does really it just there's like a correlation it's just like i can't really like emphasize in a sense i think it definitely has like some themes that are similar 
such as like the saving the world in a sense but pretty much it's just like I, I really don't like have any way to explain it so yeah thank you guys for watching this mediocre review I know I haven't posted like a lot of like these media art stuff I know I said I do it like every weekish but yeah I have not done the best hopefully this makes up for like the lack of media art stuff so yeah let's see I'll, I'll we'll see in the next week or so if I post it again so thank you for watching this video review I'll see you later